Good day folks. Right there behind me is my Kubota tractor and in two of my last videos you saw that I was uh, dealing with a uh, recent snow and that was only a three to four inch snow. Um, didn't really require any preparation except for putting my edge tamers on. Um, we've got a uh, bigger storm that's supposed to be on the way. Who knows? I'm not a weatherman. If I was, I could be wrong 90% of the time and still get paid. So what I'm going to show you today is putting on my Terra Grip traction device. It's kind of like snow chains, um, but instead of uh, a, a chain crossbar, it has a rubber crossbar. And uh, last year was the first time I actually bought them two years ago, but didn't have a opportunity to use them the first year. And then last year was the first year that I used them. And now this year I'm going to put them on again. Um, I really think uh, they do a lot of good. I don't know if I spun the wheels once last year with the uh, Terra Grips on. I really like them. That's one of the um, things that I really like. There's a lot of things I've done to my tractor that I really like. The edge tamers are another one. I've already put the right hand side on and now I'm going to put the left hand side on and you can watch me. I put the uh, last year I actually removed the tires to put them on. Um, so I tried to put them on last year with the tires mounted and I was having difficulty doing it. So by putting them on with the, the wheels off allowed me to understand how they went on. This year I put the other side on. I think it um, went fairly well. I forgot to time it, but anyhow. The first thing I need to do is lower the tire pressure. Um, the other side, I forgot about lowering the tire pressure and I couldn't get it to come together. Once I lowered the tire pressure, everything went well. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and start leaving the air out of the tires and I'll be right back with you. I got the air out of the tire. Well, not all of it, but most of it. And before we uh, start putting these on, I want to go over a few things. The first thing you, you need to do is put the tear grip on the floor with the um, flat side, mushroom side against the ground. I'll put a picture here for you to see it. The other thing you need to do is you have to have the hook, picture inserted, um, on the back side, and then you need to have the locking device, picture inserted, on the outside. So first thing, I already got the uh, Terra Grip laid out here on the floor and I'm going to go ahead. I, uh, I put some uh, tie wraps on the end like a, a loop that'll help me pull them around. I've also tie wrapped the links back so that the, uh, the links don't get in the way when I'm trying to hook it up. So without any else, I'm going to go ahead and hook the back side on first. What I meant by, I don't know if you can see that or not. Let up on the tire. Now I'm gonna grab the hook. The hook. I'm telling you what, folks. I don't know if it's easier or harder with chains, but I struggle with these. Okay, I have, I have the back side hooked. Now I'm going to stretch the uh, rubber lugs over the tire. Now the other thing that I do, that they don't give you in the instructions,
All right, to put that hook on, you have to have this link that you're hooking it into in the right direction. That way, when you push it down through, it can go like that. It's a challenge, but it can be done. You might need to back off the clamp a little bit and get a different go at it. so bad it could have been easier could have been harder I like to take a tie wrap and go across the uh, locking link so it hopefully doesn't come off while, I'm in, while they're in use and I hope that was entertaining for you all but that's how I do it don't know if it's the right way if you've got any suggestions I'm glad to hear them Maybe I should just hire someone to plow my drive. But then that wouldn't give me the satisfaction and probably would get torn up anyway. So I'll continue to do it. Hey, I'm going to get on out of here. Wrap this up. Hey, I don't need to tell you professionals what to do. This is for everybody else. I'm not saying you're not professional, but here's what you, you need to do. You need to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And share this video with a friend. And I'd just like to say thank you to uh, all of my recent subscribers. Actually, thank you to all my subscribers. You uh, keep me going, and it's really nice to get feedback from y'all. So without any else, I'm going to just shut my mouth, get on out of here. Enjoy the journey, folks. Life is short. Cheers.